Hey guys, what's up? Just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Uniform Editor inside of uh, the latest version of my All Pro Football 2K8 Editor. Uh, this version is 0 0.1.6.0 as you can see here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a roster file and I'm going to show you real quick how the Uniform Control works. So if the uniform is found, so this team basically um, has been loaded before, so it's going to find the uniform. Um, let me step back a second. So here's the way it works. The editor has a database that I created that will store uniform codes and uniform um, values for teams. So you have the ability to have multiple uniforms, a library really of uniforms inside of the editor program that you can choose from when editing your roster. And you basically have to build the library yourself. I've already built in a list of NFL teams and also all the default teams that come in the game. Um, at least the season mode ones, the main ones. So those are there for you with pictures when you first open this new release. But what you can do is you can upload your own uniforms based on changes that you've made in the game. So for example, if you, got, if you went into the game and you created a team and you created a custom uniform, you can load up the editor on the PC here and when you uh, when you get to your team, there's a way you can upload that uniform to the editor library so you can use it in the future. You can also upload a photo, as you can see here, I've uploaded a number of photos. If you have a photo you want to upload to use in the editor for previewing purposes, you can do that. Basically, when you're on this options tab inside of the editor, you have a stadium drop down and a uniform. These two are the only ones that use this preview window here. So they're highlighted in blue to show you the labels to show you which one's the current one. So when you're on uniforms it'll be blue and you can see all the different ones that are in the game or in the editor. So as you can see there's a button here. This is going to be, um, this, is, this will allow you to upload a uniform. So let's go ahead and find a team that I didn't upload yet that I want to upload. So this is the Blackbirds, they're really a rendition of the Atlanta Falcons that Darth Destro made. And I want to go ahead and upload this uniform. So first thing you're going to do, you're going to see it's disabled, the drop down, you're going to see it says unknown uniform, so you're going to want to upload it. So click on this upload button here. First thing it's going to do, it's going to ask you for a name. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a name I know is already in the system to show you that it won't allow you to create the same name, so you have to create a distinct name. So if you created a jersey called Atlanta Falcons and you want to create one called 98 Falcons, you can do that, but you can't put the same name twice. So Scorpions is already here. If I hit OK, then it will prompt me, it should, and say this already exists. Okay, so it does. The jersey name Scorpions already exists. Please save jersey using a new name. All right, so now I'm going to make one called the Falcons, 98 Falcons. That's what it's going to show up as in the editor, and I'm going to hit OK. Next thing you can do is it will ask you, you have the option to either upload a picture of your uniform, or you can leave it with a default no photo image that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and to choose to do yes. You could choose no, it will still save the team uniform, but you just won't have a preview. Um, and you really have no way of doing it in this version if you don't do it the first time. So if you don't want to upload a uniform, then, um, then you can skip this. If you do, then you can add it. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes, and it'll open up a directory, and I have a uniform of the uh, Falcons that I'm going to want to pick here. So here it is. I've picked it and you, you can open the file and all of a sudden there you go. Boom. Now you have it. So now it's in the list of uniforms and you've uploaded a picture for use in the editor. 
you can see here it's found so the icon is disabled and now you have your uniform um, you can still select different ones or you can go back to yours and uh, it's going to be available for any other team to use as you can see here there's no way to delete the uniforms um, if you really need to, del to delete one let me know I can show you how to do it in the back end but for now all you can really do is upload one time and it'll save it and you can create a, a list of all the uniforms you'd like um, to use in the editor. And just so you guys are clear, this is not going to give you the ability to create a uniform from scratch. It just allows you to take ones that you made in the game and upload them to the editor so that you can choose them when making teams. So if I want to make the Eagles, I can pick the Eagles uniform, my team. Uh, in the game, we'll get the uniform for the Eagles, and boom, you're done. Uh, lastly, just real quick, the collar, the collar that's right here on the uniforms, you can actually pick these here. You can pick All Pro, so they all, so the uniform will say All Pro instead of an actual name, or you can pick a name, any name you want in this list. There's also one I found called Visual Concepts that's in here, if you want to make them Visual Concepts. So that's it for now. Wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you this and um, hit me up with any comments, any feedback. Like always, you can go to my new website, uh, www.kingjavo.com and, um, and any donations are always welcome. All right, guys. Peace out.